Okay, I'm getting tired it's because I'm getting old. Just like these three guys behind me. One is dead, Jack Irving. Uh, Archer died a few days ago, and the only thing left is uh, JK. Now, I know these guys. Uh, I knew these guys by first name because I was uh, well known in St. John letters to the editor and <laughs> there's some stories some funny stories with every single one of them uh one funny one is with jk just go to youtube write jk irving and charles leblanc you'll you'll see it but archer died and um it's funny with archer uh i remember it was the acadian games in st john the early early 90s it was anyway uh matthew glenn remember him from the anglo society the good old days where we used to fight between french and english anyway uh it was at harbor station in st john and matthew glenn and the anglo society were protesting and who walked by arthur irving and his wife sandra and uh, Matthew Glenn tried to talk to him, and there's, there's Arthur. I don't want to talk to you, and just kept on going. So uh, I said, who's that? And he said, oh, that's Arthur Irving. Oh, is that Arthur? Oh, okay. So once inside, <laughs> I saw Arthur, and I said, by the way, I just want to congratulate you, the stand you took outside. He looks at me, he goes, are you one of them? Oh, me? No, 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 no. I'm an Acadian. Uh, my name is Charles LeBlanc. And then he goes, you're the guy. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was during the strike at the refinery, and I was writing letters to the editor supporting the union and all that. So anyway, once in a while I would see him, just chat with him, and you know. A uh, little chat here and there. And I remember when the shipyard was shut down. And I was somewhere. And Arthur, shipyard was shut down. And a week later, I met Arthur Irving. And he introduced me to a guy, I forgot his name, that ran the building at the airport where the Irving land and take off. He introduced me to him. Like, hey, you want to work? There's a guy there. I'm introduced by the Irving to tell this employee to hire me. And I said, well, I'm collecting UI, EI, or whatever you want to call it. I work for 10, 15 years, so it's sort of like a vacation. Oh, you want to go on EI? Okay. So it's sort of like you rather go on EI, EI than work. So that was sort of the end of that, and um, I remember another thing, oh yeah, what was his name? Ivan Voto. he was a hockey player, and something happened, I forgot exactly what it was, and I had a bill on the Irving credit card, about $800 was it, or something, I just see me and said, when you see Ivan, just said that uh, the tank of gas is on the house and he sort of canceled the uh, credit card so that was nice of him but then when when I started to go really anti-Irving on issues especially when uh, uh, JD Irving got involved and they didn't want me to work that's where the war started but no, it, it is a sad day. It's not everybody that could do the job that Arthur Irving, or all the Irvings, what they do. It's, it's a job seven days a week, 24 hours a day. And you're surrounded by friends, the so-called friends. I think the only friends is because they're billionaires. But no, no, it, it is a sad day. It, it's coming in an era, it's, it's the end of an era, an era of dedication, an era of dedicated to your work. 
is like Kenneth Irving, his son, not his father, his son. A handsome guy, looked like a Hollywood actor. He look at that and he said, I don't need this, excuse my language, this shit. I'm out of here, you know, like, it's hard, hard work. And now he, he's enjoying life with a family and, you know, just life, enjoying life. And uh, Arthur was a do-goer and uh, it's, it's sad because you don't see too many Irvings or farmers. You know, it's hard to be a farmer de these days. It, it's, it's a, you got to dedicate your life to it. So especially when you got Facebook, you got no time for Facebook when you do that. So uh, no, it's a sad day. Uh, my sympathy go to his wife Sandra and uh, the whole family. And uh, it's a sad day. It's a very sad day, and uh, we'll never see the light, uh, the lights of him again.